Hi, this is Ryan with Blair Technology Group, and in this video we're going to take a look at reloading Windows 8.1 on your machine from scratch uh, using a USB flash drive uh, that you've already created uh, Windows 8.1 Restore Media on. Uh, if you have not created uh, the Restore Media, there is a video uh, on our YouTube page that will show you how to go through this process, and there will be a link uh, underneath the video in the comments uh, to that video. The first thing we'll want to do here is make sure that you do have your USB drive plugged into your computer uh, with your restore media on the drive. Um, second thing we'll want to do is completely power down your machine uh, so it's completely turned off. Worst comes to worst, you can just unplug the power cord out of the back of the machine if need be and plug it back in. Uh, once the machine is completely turned off, uh, just go ahead and hit the power button to turn it back on. Uh, the very first thing you'll see is a splash screen. Uh, once you see the splash screen, if you're using a Dell machine, you'll want to start tapping the F12 key repeatedly. Uh, if you're using an HP machine or a Lenovo machine, uh, you'll want to tap F9 repeatedly. Uh, it might beep at you a few times if you tap a little too quickly. Don't worry about it, it's not a problem. Uh, what we're trying to do is to get into the boot option so we can tell the computer to load up off your USB flash drive. The test machine I'm using here is a Dell. So as soon as I see the Dell splash screen, which should be almost instantly after you power on the machine, I'm gonna start tapping F12 here, and this will get me to the boot menu. Uh, once in the boot menu, there are several options, and you can toggle through the options by using the up and down arrow key on your keyboard. Uh, since we want to boot off of the USB flash drive, uh, we want to highlight this option for USB device. Uh, once we have this highlighted, you can just go ahead and hit the enter button. After the short load time, uh, it'll bring you up to this Windows Setup window. Uh, everything should be uh, correct by default, English United States, for your um, language to install, time currency format, as well as your uh, keyboard and input method. Uh, so you shouldn't have to change anything here. You can just go ahead and click Next, and this will bring you to the Install Now window, and you can just go ahead and left click on Install Now, and uh, it'll start the setup process. The next step in the process will be entering your product key. Uh, now your product key is located on your actual computer. If it's a laptop, it'll be on the bottom of your machine. Uh, if it's a desktop, it'll be located on the top of your machine, assuming you have it standing upright. Uh, it'll be a multicolored sticker. It'll be white, blue, orange, and brown in kind of a checkered pattern. Um, there will be a couple barcodes on the sticker, and in between the two barcodes, you should see the words product key uh, followed by 25 numbers and letters in groups of five uh, separated by dashes. Um, this key will have to be put in perfectly. If you do not put in the key perfectly, it will not accept it, and you will not be able to move any further. Um, be very careful with the number eight and the letter B is in boy. Um, the print is very small in the stickers and they are very easily mixed up. Once you have your product key entered and you double check to make sure everything is uh, typed in correctly, uh, you can go ahead and click the next button. 
This will bring you to the license terms. Uh, you can read through these if you'd like. Uh, you can scroll down there on the on the right hand side. Uh, you will need to accept the license terms to go any further, so you'll need to click this little box here. Uh, once you have a little check mark in there, you can just go ahead and click next. The next step here will be to choose what type of installation you want, and uh, we'll want to go to custom uh, install Windows only advanced. Um, so because we'll need to delete some partitions as you'll see here in a second uh, so you'll definitely want to select this option uh, now once we get into uh, this list of partitions uh, we'll want to just go ahead and delete these partitions uh, what we're looking for is to get uh, disk zero unallocated space and the way you do this is to just delete these partitions and as you see as I delete these uh, we'll be left with just disk zero unallocated space uh, once we're left with just this one option here, uh, we can just go ahead and click Next. At this point, it will start installing Windows off the flash drive. Um, this process will take roughly about 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to cut out a lot of this just to save some time on the video. Uh, so we'll fade out and, and come back after this, this part of it's done here. Once these steps are completed, it's going to come up with this little window here letting you know it's okay to unplug your flash drive. Uh, you will no longer need your flash drive at this point. All the data has been pulled off it already. Uh, after you click OK, uh, the machine will go ahead and restart. After the restart, uh, you'll come to this loading screen. Uh, it takes roughly about four to five minutes uh, getting ready to device before it uh, actually gets into the, the setup process and personalization process. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut about four minutes out of this uh, just to save some time on the video. This will be the first part of the actual setup. At this point, you can choose uh, whatever color that you'd like for your, your default theme. Uh, you also need to name your PC. As you can see, I've named mine uh, test here. You can type in anything you want. doesn't really matter. Your name, numbers, letters, anything will work. Uh, once you've named your PC, you can just go ahead and click Next. If you have your Wi-Fi turned on or you have a USB Wi-Fi adapter plugged into your desktop, uh, this should be the next screen that you get. I highly suggest skipping this step. Um, when I did connect to the Wi-Fi, it ended up downloading about two hours of Windows updates and then they bugged out, uh, which means I had to start this whole process over from scratch. Uh, you can connect to your Wi-Fi after you get into Windows. Um, but like I said, I highly, I mean, at this point, you can't connect. You can just put in your security key uh, to hook up to your Wi-Fi. But I, I highly suggest skipping this step. Now you'll come to settings. Uh, you have a couple options here. You can use express settings or you can customize. Uh, we recommend that you use express settings. Uh, if you go to customize and you turn off the wrong thing, it can cause some problems with some apps. Um, this will bring you to your account page uh, where you can create a username. Uh, this is what you'll see when you log into your machine. It'll be the, the name of your login or your user account. Um, you can type in a password and re-enter the password and type in a hint if you do want to use a password. If you have no security issues, uh, you're not worried about anyone getting on your computer, uh, you can just leave those three bottom boxes blank and then just go ahead and click finish. Uh, Windows will assume that you do not need a password and instead of having to log in every time you restart your machine or it goes to sleep, it'll just start right up for you.
At this point, the uh, Windows installation is complete. Um, if you've not connected to your Wi-Fi already, uh, if you look next to the time and date in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, you see a little speaker with a red X next to it, and just left of that, you'll see what look like uh, signal bars on a cell phone. Uh, if you left-click on those little signal bars, uh, like I said, it's just left of the time and date in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, it'll pull up your Wi-Fi network, and you can go ahead and connect your Wi-Fi at this point. Um, you're most likely not going to have uh, some drivers, possibly you won't have any sound, um, but Windows updates should fill in just about any necessary drivers that you need. Uh, so once you've connected to your Wi-Fi, uh, expect over the next week or so to see several sets of Windows updates every time you restart the machine. Uh, but once it's uh, up to date, uh, you should only get updates about once or twice a month as they release new security patches. So I uh, hope this video helped. And uh, if you run into any problems or need any assistance, uh, certainly feel free to give us a call. Uh, we're here 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, number is 855-252-4784. Again, that's 855-252-4784. 4784. Uh, you can also email us at the support at blairtg.com. Again, that's support at blairtg.com. Thank you. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.